Hi everyone, I'm at a high mountain lake. This is uh, the first mountain lake of the year for me, of 2020. I've fished some ponds, but uh, this is a true, proper mountain lake. I mean, it's still small, it's still technically a pond, but this one is in the mountains. There are cutthroat trout in here, and uh, I'm excited. I've been watching the water here as I've, as I've been getting ready, and I have seen fish rise, including some pretty close to shore over on this side. A lot of them have been rising out kind of in the middle of the lake, which uh, I don't think I'll be able to reach with a Tenkara rod, but I guess we'll see. And if all else fails, I do have a little backpacking spinning rod with me, so I can always whip that out if I need to, but let's get fishing. Oh, yes! Oh, that was a good fish and a good take. I saw him come up. That was awesome. That was a good sized fish. That was a, I don't know, 12 or 13 inch fish. As you can see, there's a lot of vegetation in this lake, especially around the edges. Like when you look at it on Google Maps, it's completely covered in vegetation. I think that later in the year it would be really hard to fish, but I think I'll be able to catch some something today. I'm hoping that on these other sides of the lakes of the lake it's a little bit less vegetated. Guess we'll see. I need to cross this kind of swampy area to get to the other side. But I don't really want to. I don't have waders on. Ah. Fish on! Oh, beautiful. I cast to this spot right here, which is basically one of the only open spots I can access. It's about a 13 inch fish, 13 inch cutthroat. Fat fish, healthy fish. Very nice. I'll let it go. Whew, awesome. Okay, I've reached a part of the lake where I'm seeing just a ton of fish rise up beyond these little barrier islands here, these little grassy islands. And so I'm gonna try to wade out into this nastiness out here. Hopefully I don't sink up to my knees, but did you see that fish? A fish rose just on the other side of that thing. And they, I've been watching them for a little while, just all along here. So hopefully I can find some solid footing there. If not, I might just go stand on the islands themselves. I don't know, let's just wade out into the nastiness and figure it out. Oh gosh. Ugh. It's cold. It's very cold, but it's worth it if I catch fish. Just gotta keep the end in mind. Ooh, and it stinks. Oh, it's getting deeper. Oh, almost up to my knees now. Gross. This whole thing is a floating mat, I'm realizing. Fish on. Oh my gosh. This whole mat, this thing is floating. I can I can move this whole this whole little island by stepping on it. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't land that fish cuz I couldn't really get to the water over there. I thought I'd be able to. These are good sized fish in this lake. I haven't Oh. I haven't hooked into anything super small. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's bring the line over. Oh. Man. 
I just need to get up onto this grass somehow. Yeah, this is crotch deep water now. Oh, got one. There it is. Wow. Beautiful fish. What a beauty. That's a good 13 or 14 inches too. Pretty rosy cheeks on this cutthroat. Yeah, about 13 inches, I'd say. Wow. Beauty. All right. All right, what are the odds that this big one is just a floating mat too? I think they're probably at about 98%. Yep. Big floating mat. Oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> like I can cast beyond the floating mat but I can't really land a fish if I hook into one there. So I'm just gonna walk over to the edge here. There's a little channel of water that I can bring the fish through if I do land one. Ooh, I'm cold. This is cold water. And the wind is picking up now. It's getting colder. And it's getting harder to see what I'm looking at when I'm casting because there are now little ripples on top of the water and I can't see if I'm casting into like the shallow stuff or the deeper stuff where the fish are. And I also can't really see the, uh, the takes as well. Fish on. This might be the biggest one yet. It feels bigger. Come on. Oh man. Yes. Wow. Definitely. Definitely the biggest fish yet. Great hook set right in the corner of the mouth. Let's see. Eight and like seven and a half, 15 and a half inch fish. Just a beast. Wow, that's a beauty, guys. My biggest fish of, of the year so far, of 2020, big, fat, healthy fish. Nice fish, very nice. Whew. All right, let's get some more. Oh yeah, and it's definitely snowing now. I don't know if you can see that, but I am getting snowed on. Definitely, definitely snowing. Oh, the sun just came out for what looks like a brief moment. fish on. Not quite as big as the last one, but still respectable, I think. There it is. Very nice, seven and six, 13 inches. Wow, that's a stunner. This fish has some of the prettiest colors 
I've seen on my cutthroat. Very nice. Yes. Fish on. Ooh, another good sized one. Just gorgeous fish, these cutthroat in this lake. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Very nice. Not quite as colorful as the last couple, but still a respectable fish. 12 or 13 inches. It looks like it's about 12. Let this guy go. All right, I think that'll do it. I'm cold and I still have to hike three miles back to my car. So uh, I'm gonna call it a day here. Really enjoyed fishing this lake. Uh, it kind of sucked that I had to get into the water, but you know, whatever. I caught fish, caught some really nice fish. All the fish were at least 12 inches in this little lake, and so you really can't complain about that. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.